Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do the tag if all my makeup disappeared. And the premise of this tag is that if all your makeup disappeared, what are the 10 items that you would repurchase right away? And um, I sort of got the feeling with this tag that it was almost like you were only allowed to have these 10 things. So the 10 most important things in your makeup collection if you couldn't have anything else, basically. Um, so, you know, when I first watched other people do this video, I thought, oh, that's, that's easy, you know, that's a no-brainer. Not at all, because when you actually have to narrow it down to 10 products, it required a lot more thought than than I thought it would. Some things you're going to be oh, like, oh yeah, she mentions those in every video. But then there were other things that were very hard to choose. So let me show you the 10 things that I picked. Um, I picked, of course, my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I show this to you in every video. I love this foundation, and this is the one that I've been using lately and really enjoying. So I would definitely choose that. And of course, my Essence Forget It concealer palette because this would be perfect because I could use the peach one as an under eye uh, black circle uh, corrector and then I could use the green to counteract redness and I could use the flesh colored one if I had any zits which I very rarely get <laughs> and then my Ico cream of course would be my face highlighter I would have to have this and this could also double as a moisturizer if I had to um, because it does work well for that too. My blush that I picked out, this might surprise you, um, New York Color Blushable Cream Stick and Big Apple Blush. This was, you know, I went through all my blushes and I was like, oh, should I pick a MAC blush or a NARS blush? Or I was like, no, this is actually my favorite and, you know, not expensive. And New York Color has been kind of disappearing from a lot of stores lately so if you don't have this or um, one of these I would pick one up because I don't know I, I get a bad feeling about that and um, I was just watching a video where somebody was saying that Milani is no longer carried at their Walgreens or at any Walgreens so that's kind of scary too that now Milani is only at CVS and Kmart I don't like the direction this is headed, people, because it when you see things happen like that, it kind of makes you feel like, oh my God, you know, is the company going out of business or what's happening here? Because, you know, I really like some of the products by those two companies, but that may not be the case. They might just be trying to downsize the amount of stores that their products are carried in. Uh, another thing I chose was MAC Painterly Paint Pot because I can use paint pots as an eyeshadow base, no problem. I don't get creasing or anything like that. If you have oily eyelids, you may not be able to get away with it, but I can. And I figured if I chose Painterly, where it's a nude and it's neutral and it just kind of blends right into your skin, um, I figured this would be good for all eyeshadows that I wanted to put over it. And speaking of eyeshadows, <laughs> I don't know if this is a cheat or not, but I'm choosing this palette, <laughs> which just happens to have all these colors in it. These are, this is my MAC, I call it the, my MAC palette number one because this has like all my favorite colors in it. And um, it looks like that, and obviously I'm not going to go through all of them, but it's pretty much what you would expect, like Satin Trope and Shroom, Trax, Woodwinked, Naked Lunch, All It Glitters, Carbon, you know, like your basic colors, nothing, nothing too crazy in here. Well, actually, Sketch is pretty crazy, isn't it? But... <laughs> But anyways, yeah, this is just my MAC number one palette. And for mascara, I chose my brand new MAC Zoom Lash Mascara. Now, uh, to be fair, I had just recently threw away a ton of mascaras that had gotten old. And um, I 
didn't realize that they had gotten so old because I wasn't really keeping track of it all that well, but I went through all my mascaras and I threw a ton of them away. So I don't really have that many left now to choose from. But yeah, I really like this mascara. And of the ones that I have left, and I should tell you just to be fair how many I have left, I have... I only have... Um, five others now besides that one so of the ones that I have left that's the one that I would choose and then I also wanted to include my L'Oreal extra intense liquid pencil eyeliner in bronze this is a discontinued color but I think it would go really the best with um, all those eyeshadows I just showed you Black eyeliner can look pretty harsh on me. That's why I didn't choose a black eyeliner. And I figured if I wasn't going to go with black, then bronze was oops, a good color to go with for me. And I also chose my EOS Lip Balm in Summer Fruit because I absolutely would have to have um, a lip moisturizer, a lip balm. Uh, if I could only have 10 products, then that would have to be included because... I start with this, then I wait about 15-20 minutes and I start doing my makeup and at that time the lip balm has you know sunk into my lips and then I begin the, lip, the makeup. So I absolutely have to have that. And then for a lipstick, this is probably going to surprise you too because you're probably thinking, oh well she has to have chosen a MAC product because I'm on number 10 right now. So since I only had one product left and I was like oh great so there's only one left so I can't do lip liner lipstick lip gloss so what would I choose I would choose something that didn't require a lip liner and it also doubles as a gloss I chose Clinique Black Honey because you don't need a lip liner it's a lipstick but it's glossy so it's like a three-in-one product and I've shown this before don't be scared when I <laughs> don't be scared when I show you because it looks really scary in the tube like horrible but it's not matter of fact let me swatch it so you can see what I mean see it's a nice neutral berry type color and um, very wearable not intense at all and it's one of those colors that would most likely look good on all of you so that was Clinique black honey and this formula, this glossy lipstick type thing, this is the only color they make of this now. It's just this one color, unfortunately. I would love to see more of those. I guess they used to have them, but they discontinued them. So those are the items that I would choose for my 10. Uh, there were a lot of other things I would like to have included, but when push comes to shove and you can only pick 10, that's what I would have to say I go with. Um, who do I tag to do this video? I would like to tag my friend June, who is the Suki Bab Swent here on YouTube. I would like to tag Holly Anna E. Ree. Holly, I don't know if you do tags. I don't think I've ever seen you do one, but, you know, you should. They're really fun, so give it a shot. And, um, I would like to tag Alex, whose channel name is Yes, I'm Wearing Makeup. I don't think you've done this tag yet, right, Alex? Um, and I, I would love to see you do that. And, you know, anyone who wants to do this tag that makes videos, go for it. I'm going to leave the video response section um, so that, uh, you know, open so that you guys can put the videos in there. If, if it doesn't get posted right away, don't panic because I have to put it so that I'll approve it just in case, you know, some psycho person <laughs> posts a video or something. I don't want it to just sail right through into my channel page there. But, um, yeah, so don't freak out if it doesn't get approved right away because sometimes I don't always get to my mail, you know, right, right away if I have something else going on. Um, there was one other thing I was going to tell you guys. What was it? Oh, I know. Um, products that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I'm, I'm not wearing the exact same things I showed you, I promise. <laughs> 
Essence Forget It Concealer Palette, Ico Cream, and that's where the, the uh, similarities end. I have on Hard Candy Hiding Glow Cheek uh, Tint in Hot Date, and I have on the red side. And I have on MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as my eyeshadow base. I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette again. I really like this. I can't believe that I put it on again two days in a row because I never do that. But I really like it and I figured if I was going to do um, a darker lip today that this would be a good neutral palette to work with. And then... Let's see, for eyeliner, I am wearing the L'Oreal Liquid Intense in Bronze. My mascara, however, is L'Oreal Voluminous. This is the one with the curved brush. And for lip product today, I'm wearing Milani Lip Flash Pencil in Hot Flash. And this is one of those jumbo pencils that triples as a lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss. And I would have chosen one of these. Oops, Thomas is shaking the table. He's, he's behind the camera there. Um, I would have chosen one of these as included in my list, but all the colors of these are very, very intense colors. And I figured if I could only have 10 products, I wouldn't want my lip product to be a bright color every single day. I would want something that was um, a little more wearable. But if it wasn't for that, I would have chosen one of these. And on my nails is Sally Hansen Runway Red. And this is the Complete Salon Manicure Formula. And this was from the Spring and Summer Limited Edition Collection that came out this year. And that is it, you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.